And now, your first alert five weather. Thanks, Rob. We're going to launch the weather segment with a stunning viewer contribution. All that moisture we landed in May has created a lush green color up in the wet mountains. Douglas shot that at beautiful Lake Isabel. Emphasis on beautiful. Tonight, we're clear and it's still warm out there. 73 degrees, calm conditions across most parts of the city. Pueblo crystal clear, 79 is your current temperature and the winds are calm. This is your big weather story. It's what everybody's talking about and we'll be talking about for the rest of the week and next Next week, high pressure, the key player for the state of Colorado, bringing in lots of sunshine. And we talked about it just before weather started. Haze in the air again tomorrow due to the fires down to the south and southwest of us. Here's what's going on. High pressure pushing that main storm track well up to the north. That's where your cool wet weather is from Montana up into portions of southern Canada. Temperatures come out of the starting blocks really fast. Tomorrow morning, this is 9 a.m. already into the mid and upper 70s, even hotter by 11 a.m. At least I think we'll see a few clouds build in during the afternoon pushing off the hills that'll shield us from that intense sunshine uh, during the afternoon hours but it is going to be dry all across southeastern Colorado morning lows this morning warmer than average afternoon highs 80s and 90s we were 10 degrees warmer than where we should be this time of the year outside tonight still pretty toasty across the valley with temperatures in the 70s from Canyon City all the way out to the Kansas border we'll have crystal clear skies overnight tonight calm winds low temperatures eventually getting down into the 50s but that'll occur just before sun sunrise tomorrow morning, afternoon highs tomorrow. The toughest job in town tomorrow will be trying to find ways to stay cool and it's going to get even hotter around here on Thursday. So you need to drink a lot of water. You don't want to dehydrate during this heat wave. If you've got elderly neighbors, check in on them from time to time. If you're really sensitive to the heat, just park in front of the AC as much as you can. And of course, you never ever want to leave kids or pets in the car. In the springs for the first time this year, we'll be in the low 90s on Thursday. Hottest day of the year so far. Cold front is going to nudge in here early Friday morning. That'll knock us back into the low 80s. Not a bad weekend, certainly toasty for this time of the year, but you will not have to dodge any thunder or lightning throughout uh, Colorado Springs for the next seven days. Pueblo, you air conditioner and swamp cooler guys are going to be seeing big dollar signs with this forecast. It's hot and it's here to stay. 99 on Thursday before that cold front puts out the fire. More than 10 degrees cooler Friday, but those 80s are one and done. You're back into the 90s over the weekend, sticking in those 90s all the way through the middle part of next week. Canyon City tomorrow, just kind of a warm up act. The real heat, uh, real deal heat rolls in on Thursday, 97 degrees, your afternoon high temperature. Good day to post up close to the Arkansas River. Dry skies in Canyon for the next seven. And in Woodland Park, you're at an elevation of 8,400 feet above sea level. So uh, considering you're up that high, 84 is a real hot day for this time of the year. Get a push of cooler air Friday, maybe a thunderstorm by Sunday. Rob.